Good morning, guys. My name is Vandal Fasfalada. I am the developer of Howl, and today I just want to show you a quick gameplay test on an actual Android device, which I think is necessary because I've only been showing videos that are kind of low quality because I'm recording it on my desktop, which is not a very good, which is not a very fast desktop. My graphics card is very old. So when I'm, whenever I'm recording something with Camtasia, the frame rate just drops. <laughs> frame rate drops really bad. So I'll be, uh, I'll be showing the actual gameplay on the Huawei Prism. It's, it's not really a very fast device. I mean, compared to the Samsung Galaxy S3, the, the Samsung Galaxy S3 is probably much better than much faster than this. But I am planning to get a Samsung Galaxy S3 when I have the money, when I get the money from my scholarship funds that are coming later on the semester. Okay, let me just get everything set up. I have to get in a comfortable position because I don't have a tripod. To, uh, that's why I'm holding the camera like this. Okay guys, we are back and my camera is on a chair and I'm kneeling. <laughs> so it's kind of uncomfortable for me, but I'll try my best. Alright, so here we go. Really uncomfortable right now, but kind of hard to play like this. So just a heads up if, if I'm going to suck. Oh, it's really hard to play like this. I'm missing the buttons. Anyways, let's go to nighttime. Let's uh, redo that boss battle. Show you guys that it actually works. There's no frame rate drop. Right now the frame rate is about 50, 55 or something like that. You guys like that uh, <laughs> transition wallpaper, right? It's pretty cool. Anyway, let's kill all of them. And let the boss fight begin. Oh, by the way, I'm going to replay the whole boss fight, just to show you that it, it does work on the Android. Oh. Yeah, my pet is running away. Um, it's basically like a, like a uh, gambit system for your pet. If you guys ever played Final Fantasy XII, You'll know what I'm talking about. We basically give priorities to uh, to your other party members. I call this skill, that skill. I call it uh, what do I call it? Spirit flux. 
<laughs> oh, where do I come up with these names? Oh, yeah, I can't die yet. I haven't implemented the death sequence for the heroes yet, so... Plus, it'd be kind of boring if I just died right away. Yeah, they're sweating. Yeah, right now your my pet is dead. See that gravestone following me? That's actually <laughs> that's actually the the um, the horse. And uh, I probably will come up with something better for the death uh, for the gravestones. I don't feel like it's I don't feel like it's good enough. so hard to control while kneeling down and camera is on a chair. Dun -dun -dun. Dun -dun. The music is so good. It's uh, called Sand Blaster by... Uh... Oh jeez, I forgot already who made it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, a user at opengameart.org. Really good music. Was it Sand Blaster? Forgot. I don't think it's Horror Pen. Is it? I'm not sure. Oops. Oh, my favorite part, Sorlo. This is like my most favorite skill that I've done so far. Sorlo skill. It's called Thunderstrike. <laughs> yes. I mean, it wasn't hard to implement, just that I think it's really cool. Ah, uh, that's called terrify. It basically stuns and immobilize. It immobilizes and disarms. Uh, enemies in an area of effect. Oh, surge. Boom. <laughs> I love that skill so much. Yeah, if uh, if I ever when I when I release a demo of this, you guys really need headphones because you'll be hearing stuff coming from your left going out to your right. It's pretty awesome. I mean, libgdx just makes it so easy for me. Yeah, at this point in time, I only have skills for. Uh, awesome Possum and Sorlo. Because I have midterms coming up. I'm going to study. Need to study, and uh, hopefully, after the midterms, I can finish the skills for those guys. For the rest of them. Uh. Yeah, the camera work is a little iffy on boss battle scripts, but it'll improve. I'll probably. Include like a mini map over here. I don't know. There's so many. There's already so many things on the screen that I'm not sure if I want to include a mini map. Like something that's showing the whole map when you're playing. Especially, it comes in handy when the camera is not focused on you. Oh, wait. Uh, I think I killed them. Where am I? Yeah, I, I, I killed him. 
I accidentally pressed this button over here. This, uh, yeah, whenever I press this, I, I program this so whenever I press the mana bar, it kills everything. So if I press it, it's going to kill everything. But I don't want to do that. If I press this, of course it's not going to be an actual game. It's just that if I want to modify the time. Just for debugging purposes, you know.